Someone snuck this note to you yesterday, but you didn't see who it was. Why didn't you tell me? Because I was starting to think that maybe it was you. What? You were the only one who knew. And you were at the dock, and you vanished. So come on, Prince. Tell me, was it you? No. We're in this same boat together, you know. Do you really think I want this? I feel sick. Why would somebody do this to me? Mate, you need food. Well, maybe it was Lexi. Freya's mummy, she, she was in the dock. She's police. If she knew, then surely she would have just nicked you, wouldn't she? Well, it must be one of the students, then. Yeah, that's right, it's one of the students. Mate, at least eat something before you go. How about I make you my famous omelette, yeah? I don't want your famous omelette, Prince, OK? If I don't find out who's responsible for this and what they want, then there is a very good chance that my life could be destroyed forever. Hey! Listen, listen. Don't go in there while guns blazing. I'm not. If this note becomes public knowledge, it's gonna blow up in both of our faces, then we'll really be in the mud. We already are. No, we're not. That note doesn't mean Jack. What are we supposed to do? Hey, just bury our heads in the sand, forget about it. Because I guarantee the person that wrote that note, they won't forget. But I'm smart about it. Stay alert, but be calm, okay? I'm begging you, man. There's just so much about the crash that seems dodgy to me. Well, I've heard the police report said it was definitely an accident. Well, yes, but it could just be a cover-up or something. Who knows? It was you, wasn't it? You wrote that note. What note? That one? Play games with me. I am not in the mood for games! It's just a consent form for the class trip to the theatre. John Paul, is everything OK? Why are you not picking up the phone? I left my phone at school. I'm going to have to go back for it. Well, what are you doing here? I shouted at one of the students. Have you been drinking? No, I haven't been drinking. John Paul, man. I'm, I'm telling you the truth, OK? I, I'm just feeling really anxious, OK? I, I'm trying to compare the handwriting in this note to the handwriting in these essays, and so far, I've got nothing. I mean, maybe I'm, I'm looking in the wrong place. Well, they obviously haven't got any proof. Or they would have confronted you and gone to the police already. Well, they haven't blackmailed me and they haven't made any demands so far, so... Exactly. They have nothing. So get a grip before people start getting suspicious. You're shouting at kids, you're hiding in the park and you reek of booze. So sort it out before you expose us both. Time. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Why do you smile and you sort of plod your way through life? Do you not do you not get miserable? Yeah, of course I do. I try and stay positive and then simple that way. Simple pleasures for a simple man. Go on, do us that drink, eh? Quench my thirst, you barkeep. spend one day in hospital and my mountain of marking goes through the roof. You okay? You seemed a bit flustered in school earlier. It's just the crash, isn't it? Just keep replaying it over and over in my head. 
I don't think I'm ever going to get over it. Maybe none of us will. It's the kids that I worry about. You know, a trauma like that can have quite an impact at that age. My poor students. I just keep letting them down. I haven't been there for them. You've taught them well. <laughs> I was really happy to cover your class today. You know I'm here for you, whatever you need. Yes, you are. <laughs> right, let's see about that drink, shall we? Mm. Oh. Continue to lie about some phantom bird flying into a windscreen. Wait. Olivia is in hospital because you. You ready? Ready? I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> 